a kind of a, a next chapter of the ongoing debate in, in the EU about you know whether values are just you know nice parts of the treaties or they are actually law and and if it's law it has to be enforced. We, meaning lawyers dealing in the EU law, we were discussing it way and forward whether Article Two can be enforced or not. You know, it sounds so vague, like pluralism, human rights. Like how could how could you enforce it? And when you look at those uh, developments in the EU, you see it's kind of changing, it's kind of developing. However, still, the factor of time, I think it's a crucial one if you, if you want to say if something is successful or, or, or not. I mean, when you think of the, those first attempts dealing with the, with the judiciary in Hungary, so 2012, the first case, the EU and the Commission didn't know even how to frame the case, so they went with the anti-discrimination case. Of course, they won, at the same day lost because nothing changed, in fact, on the, on the ground. But I think through, through the years we managed, we, meaning um, EU and, 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 uh, and lawyers, we managed to kind of translating those rule of law issues into actually a rule of law case. When you look at LGBT case against Hungary, we have Article 2 mentioned in this case. So it's a kind of a huge development on going on. Going on. But, uh, but now I think we are facing another question whether we can translate those domestic developments into a democracy-related case, and can we bring it to the European Court of, um, Court of Justice? I think it's a huge question.